If you ask a soccer coach to make a list of every player on their team, ranked from who they perceive as the fastest to the slowest, and then you came in and vertical jump tested that entire team, you might be surprised to find that those two lists might not necessarily match up. The players with the highest vertical jumps might not be the players that are the quickest on the field. The difference is that vertical jump measures your power in one big explosive burst. So if your sport only requires a single burst, then this might be a good measure of how effective you'd be at that sport. But on the field quickness is a little bit more tricky because it requires that you produce and absorb force over and over again, especially if you're changing directions a bunch. So it's important that your muscles are not only powerful, but elastic. Think of elastic muscles like a rubber ball bouncing down the track. The more elastic you are, the less bounce the ball loses as it goes. To train your elasticity, make sure you're not only doing single explosive jumps, but also continuous jumps where you concentrate on getting off the ground quickly. Velocity centers have a cool device called the Just Jump Mat that can measure your vertical jump and a forward jump test that will give you an idea of your elasticity. If you have any questions or comments on power versus elasticity, just leave them in the comment box below. Or if you want to get them tested, go see your nearest Velocity Sports Performance. Until next time, I'm Rhett Larson.